Hello everyone, you're watching PokerNews.com and welcome back to the end of our coverage from the very first ever Poker Stars Championship Bahamas. I am with your champion, Christian Harder. This was a very interesting situation and a very interesting final table overall. So first off, we just have to talk about the obvious thing, which is that you have come close. You have been around forever. You've been a part of the poker community for a really long time. And getting this one off your back, which is really the one to get, I think, of all of the tournaments of the year, the, the Poker Stars Caribbean Adventure before, now Poker Stars Championship Bahamas, it's a huge tournament. So tell me what it feels like to, to finally capture this. I mean, it feels amazing. As you, as you said, I've been around for so long. like And nine, final table this forever ago. Yes, nine years ago, I basically started my poker career here. Uh, dropped out of school right after I final tabled. Been playing poker since and haven't really won a major tournament. So to finally win one, especially here where like I just got my start and one of my best friends, Tony, has had uh, Tony Gregg has had an outrageous amount of success. It's just awesome. I'm just just amazing. Well, we're so happy for you, but of course, as the poker media, it was extremely interesting to see you come up against Cliff Josephy, who was one of your original backers, yeah. or I don't know if that's even legit to say, but I think tell me a little bit about you know, finding yourself at the final table with him, what that felt like. <sighs> yeah, it's funny, like, it, it really was, like, he basically started my poker career, him and Timex, which is ironic, I guess, but uh, he backed me in this tournament in 2000, uh, 2009, and I got seventh, and then, <laughs> and then I, the next the next tournament was EPT Dortmund, where Timex busted me and then won. So, and then nine years later, I you know, I get to beat Cliff heads up to win. It's, <laughs> it's pretty funny how it works out. But yeah, I mean, Cliff's gave me so much. He gave me my start, so I, I owe him a lot, and I appreciate it. And yeah, I'm just, I don't know, just awesome, just happy. It's, it's beautiful to see the full cycle. Yeah. Now, there was definitely some, you know, at, the, at this final table, there were some players, I think, where it wasn't, you, you know, you can't be 100% certain what they're mm -hmm. doing or what's going on. There was definitely some, some fireworks. So tell me a little bit for you, this final table, what it felt like. I mean, as soon as I knocked out Rasmus early and I won a couple pots, the dynamics really set up just perfect for me. Where everyone else of the final five was around the same stack at one point, and I just had, you know, 40% of the chips in play five-handed. And they were just handcuffed. So I was just able to, to raise a lot of hands that I might not be able to get away with. I'm sure it looked... I'm sure I looked better on TV than I should have. But uh, yeah, it just set up perfectly for me. And uh, luckily, I didn't have like much variance. I just won a lot of pots like uncontested. So yeah, it's pretty much a dream final table as, as far as it could go. Well, we talked a couple days ago about, it might have even been yesterday, it all starts to run together at a certain point here, but we talked about how, you know, the middle class of poker is certainly shrinking. It's definitely getting, you know, on one side and the other. And I think you, in some ways, represent the, the middle the middle class, if you will, of poker. So tell me what it means also for you as, you know, a symbol of that kind of poker player, what it means to, to represent that for everyone and take one down. Yeah, I mean, it seems like the high roller circuit's thriving and then, you know, and then the lower tournaments are thriving, but in the middle there's not much going on. So yeah, it just, it just feels great just to, to win a major tournament, to be honest. I haven't really thought of it like that, but uh, yeah. Um, You're representing yeah, for all of us. That's true, for, for the little us. people. <laughs> Well, a huge congratulations. This is such an incredible achievement, and I hope we see you tons more, you. maybe at the Maryland Live. Yes. I don't know. Go play there. Christian Harder, I'm Sarah Herring. You guys are with us here on PokerNews.com.